my trolling motor quit on me in the middle of the lake one day, so I took it apart, troubleshot it to see what was wrong with it, and uh, I'll show you how easy it is to fix it. What it was is a bad brush in the motor, and you could buy a kit for, uh, it's about $20, I bought a kit for 20 bucks at uh, fish307.com, part number is 62046, and uh, this Maine Coda is an Endura C2 with a 45 pound thrust. So I'll show you how easy it is to troubleshoot the uh, switch and then uh, the brush. So here's the parts diagram of the parts I'll be replacing today. I'll be replacing these brushes here. The one brush was bad. The other one was still okay. You replace them as a set. And then uh, the springs all replaced with it. And I've got the bearing. I've got an E-clip. I've got some washers there, some O-rings, two seals, and then O-rings for the bolts. That's what I'll be replacing today. And here's the uh, parts list. So when I ordered the kit, I made sure that the uh, part numbers matched up with my uh, parts list here, and they did, except that it had an extra ball bearing and an extra E-clip. But these kits are made for a bunch of different units, so that would go in something else. First thing to do is uh, remove the six screws underneath the, uh, the head here and take the cover off. And then, um, I would troubleshoot the switch first before you go into the motor. So find the battery leads and follow them. You got one wire coming up this way, the red one, and the black one coming up this way. And then uh, measure these two, see if you got 12 volts. And of course I got 12 and a half volts. Um, since I already took this motor apart, put it back together, the motor is gonna run. So I'm gonna put it on one and then uh, check the voltage on the outputs of this one. And this one here. That's at 8 volts at speed 1. And then 2, 9.5, 3, it's 10.76, 4, 11.25, and then that should be full voltage. Now I don't want to run it long out of the water, but I'm replacing all the seals anyway, so it won't matter. So that'd be the first thing to check, make sure your switch is all good. And after you prove all that, then, um, then we'll go on to the motor. I'll show you how to do the motor brushes. All right, we're gonna start with disassembly here. Just take a half inch wrench socket, take the nut off. And I'm gonna try to keep these in order over here, just to keep them in order. Take the prop off, you got a washer, so my Leave that like that. And then on the shaft here, you got this pin to hold the prop in place. Make sure you put that back in the right spot. Right here on the end of the motor, you got two quarter inch bolts you need to take out. So we'll pull these long bolts out, put them to the side. These have the two O-rings that you need to replace. And you can take this outer seal off. Let's see. Just take that piece off. All right. This is where the uh, has one of those nylon washers. Looks like there are two of them. Yes. Nope, one's steel and one's nylon. And then looks like the steel goes against the brass. And here's that uh, that one seal I was telling you about. It's got the metal in it. This other seal does not. It's, uh, it's up inside there. So we'll leave that in order. Now on this part you can hold the shaft like this and pull the magnet out. You can try that. There's an o-ring here we have to replace. There's an O-ring on this one we have to replace. So the reason I did it this way where I pulled the outer part off was I wanted to try to keep the brush assembly on the armature, but it, it actually came out. So um, I just wanted to show you that part of it. Now on the armature, this is uh, pretty dirty. So I'll clean it up. The best way to clean it up is like with a piece of leather, an old belt or something like that. 
you might be able to use an eraser. I just clean it first and then use an eraser, try that. If that doesn't work, if you can use this emery cloth, but I would just do it very lightly on it and just turn it a few times and that would be it. Uh, so these, these are your brushes here. This one's wore down um, almost to the wire. This one's wore down pretty much to the wire. So it wasn't, it was not wearing even across the brush either. It should be straight across. Both of these should be. So um, this is, this was definitely the problem right here. This brush, this one would have made it a little bit longer. This is about four years old. So I only got about four years out of it. So when we take these springs out, we need to notice that the spring is bigger on one end. So the one end facing the outside of the motor will be on the big, uh, the big end will be on the outside of the motor. I'm gonna just jump straight to the emery cloth now and just go ahead and get this done. Just a couple turns on here. Just a little bit more. Right where the brushes ride. Okay. That should be good. Then I'll clean that off. Inspect it for bad spots. I do have a bad spot right there and it's got a, a catch in it so I may have to lightly file that down. Got one right there too. Well my armature had some bad spots in it where it sat there and uh, arced probably when I tried to make it work and uh, it had some rough spots in it so I, I don't ever like filing on an armature at all um, but they were so rough they were uh, actually sticking up so uh, I didn't file into the armature but I filed uh, just lightly with this small file that doesn't have a lot of bite in it and just got the rough stuff down um, you know I'll go ahead and continue with this kit it should work should work fine uh, but next time I'll probably have to get a new one of these or just get a whole new one but we'll make it work now let's get the brushes out just uh, grab it with a needle nose, just wiggle it back and forth, and it should come out. It'll probably be stuck in there from having water in there and all that, but it'll come out eventually. There you go. Go ahead and put the new ones in. Push them all the way in. Right there. I mean, you got to use uh, some pressure and get this part down all the way. There, good. Like that. That one may need to go down just a little bit more. Go ahead and put these springs in. Make sure you got this big end right here on the outside of the motor. Push that spring in there. This one on this side and then we'll come back to this later and I'll show you how to get this back in there because that's probably the hardest part for most people next we need to get this bearing off and if you don't have any bearing pullers or anything like that you can do this little setup just use like a quarter 20 bolt stick it on the shaft use a half inch wrench and then have something to hold it up on the other end and take a hammer and hit right here and it should come off do I hold that there there we go that's a way to get the bearing off so I grabbed a couple paint sticks to protect the shaft in put one on this end put the bearing up top and then uh, put this on top of the bearing try not to hit my fingers it's hard to do this <laughs> two hands let's see so get the bearing down that far once you get it that far take a socket that'll clear the shaft and make sure it's hitting the inside of the bearing there and then you can just tap it down the rest of the way that should be that's it right there so that's how you can put the bearing back on all right let's look go ahead and do these uh O-rings. 
I have to take the o-ring off of this thing and then clean this. I'm not going to show you cleaning it. I'm just going to place that and the o-ring off of this magnet. Take it off and we'll clean this. To get these seals out, you're going to need a 13 16 socket that will fit about the same size as that, that there. And then um, a drive pin. And what I'll do is hit one side and then hit the other. And then go to the other side. I think it fell out. It did. So that one came out. I guess remember the order and then remember what this one looks like. There's a little piece right here. This uh, plastic piece will go on the new one right here. Okay, so now I gotta get this other one out and notice the direction of this one. So, so on the second seal, there's an easier way to do it because you, this uh, dry pin will not get on to the side of this seal it only hits the center of it. So you can take this uh, small screwdriver and just pry it out. That's how you can get that one out without damaging anything else. And then inspect the brass and make sure it didn't damage anything when using the dry pin. I don't think I did, but uh, I'll check it anyway. To put the first seal in, I grabbed a 5-8 socket that fits it perfect. Like this, and we'll just lightly tap it, tap it down. This is a pool and spa lube I use. Um, I'll put a little bit of that in there. Not much, just a little bit and just rub it around in there. It's good for O-rings and gaskets and whatever else. And then we'll take this uh, other seal. I'm gonna take a little bit and rub it on the inside of this one. and use the same socket. Actually, I'm gonna use a piece of this uh, wood first. Make it flat. Should be all I need to do. I might just give it one tap here. That did go down, okay. There we go. All right, so those are ready to go. And now we'll do these O-rings. And on these O-rings, I'm still going to use some of this stuff here, the, cheap, the pool lube. Just put it all the way around the O-rings. That'll help seal it up better. That will go on this one. This one will go on the, this one here. There we go. Go ahead and slide these O-rings off from these bolts. I'll put the new ones on. So now we're on to the hardest part of the whole job here is uh, putting the brushes back in the holder where the springs are and then holding your holding the brushes out. What I'm going to do, you really need three hands, is hold the two brushes like that on the wires, put this thing down in there, and then let go. And after you let go, make sure you bend the wire back up so it's pretty much straight up on the brushes so it doesn't get caught in the brush holder. And that should work right there. Okay. That's that was probably the hardest part is holding those springs back and then when you go to put this piece back on you're going to have to hold this shaft down because it's going to want to pull this up. Once I slide it halfway over it's going to magnetize and pull this thing up and then pull it back out of the brush holder. So you don't want that to happen. So make sure you put the right end on first. The o-ring end goes down there. I'm going to hold it here and see it's pulling my it's uh, pulling down right now. I'm holding the shaft. Hope oh, you can't see it in the video. Let's see, I'll pull it up. I'm holding the shaft right there so it won't pull the armature back out. 
and then I line my scuff marks back up. Oh, it's so this way. Line the scuff marks back up so it's in the right position so your bolts will go in the right spot. All right, now I'll take the nylon washer and then the and then the metal washer. Nylon goes first and then the metal. And then this one, the brass end, goes in, in here like this. And kind of spin it as you put it on. There we go. And then you're going to have to line up the... There we go. So when you go put the screws in, you should feel it go down in between the magnets there. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, lube onto these before I put them in. Do that real quick. I'll put a little bit of lube on these O-rings here. And then reinstall. Now I'll put the prop back on. First I gotta put this pin in. And then look to see where the, the line is for the pin. Line it up. There we go. Washer and then nut. Then we'll try it out. So the $20 repair kit fixed my problem. Ended up being the brushes, of course. Uh, the hardest part about this project was replacing the bearing, the seals, and then placing the armature into the brushes, spreading the brushes apart. But ah, that should fix your problem. Hopefully this video helped you out.